Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder again with another Reddit story for you. This one is from the Just No Mother-in-Law subreddit. You know what time it is. It's mother-in-law time. Mother-in-law alert emojis are going to run amok here soon. Title of this story is my fiance's mother stole our new baby's decorations and gifts right off of our front porch. Also, shout out to Krista Museum Girl for finding this story. Thank you very much. And just based on the title, we're going to go ahead and start with some red flags. My fiance's mother is a single mother that is overly attached to my fiance. She seems to think she is entitled to be a part of every aspect of my fiance and I's life and that she must always come first in all situations. For example, she was livid when we got engaged because we did not visit her first after the proposal. She pitched a fit that we had stopped by my parents first to show them the ring. When we did arrive at her house, she was so angry that she ended up throwing a cake at us in her driveway. Oh, hell no. She threw a cake? I know we can't see it up this close, but my eye is twitching. Crossed a line. Because they didn't go there first to show her the ring? She was like, I'm going to chuck a cake at you. Kristen, you knew. You knew when you read this story, you're like, oh, he's going to get pissed. You had to know. She has made my life a nightmare since we got together, but it became much worse when I got pregnant. She has made numerous attempts to convince my fiance to leave me because she doesn't believe I am pregnant with his baby. Her proof is that I was too fat, so I must be lying about the due date. Wrong with this one, dude. These are just some of the many things she did to hurt and embarrass me. We have limited our contact with her as a result, but she always seems to find a way to weasel back in. Last week, I gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. My area is in full COVID lockdown, so both of our families were not able to come to the hospital and would likely not be able to visit in person for a while. My parents told me they planned to decorate the front of my house to welcome the baby home. My mom said she had ordered a bunch of things from Etsy for the occasion. When I arrived home, I was surprised to see that there were no decorations. I didn't think that much of it and just assumed my family had run out of time. It wasn't like them to forget, but assumed there was a good explanation. My mom called me after I was settled and asked how I liked the decorations and presents. I asked her what she was talking about and told her that there was nothing outside when I got home. My mom proceeded to text me several pictures of my house fully decorated in pink baby gear. I also noticed several wrapped presents on my porch and the picture. They were also missing, along with a large banner, balloon arrangements, and several other decorations. My mother told me one of the presents contained a little sweater knitted by my grandma that I wore as a baby. I had been looking forward to receiving this and passing it on to my daughter. I was extremely confused as we live in a rural area, so porch pirates are not very common. I asked my fiance to check our security camera. Oh shit, I knew it. They had a camera. He pulled up the footage and we were both shocked with what we saw. We saw his mother taking everything down and putting it all in her car. The footage was very clear and you can easily see her license plate in the video. My fiance was livid and immediately called his mother. She tried to deny it, What are you talking about? That was not me. You must be thinking that someone must have stolen my vehicle and drove it to your house and taken those decorations, put them in the car, and then drove my car off a cliff. It was not me. She tried to deny it at first, but soon admitted what she had done. She claimed she was angry that she was not given the opportunity to decorate our house herself. She said my family had insulted her by excluding her. She began to cry about how horrible we are to her. My fiancé was not having it. He said she had one hour to bring everything back to our place or he would call the police. She then laughed and said that she had already thrown everything into a donation bin and told us good luck finding it. I know she's already been there. She's going back. My fiancé has already driven around to several donation bins in the area to check but hasn't found anything yet. My fiancé and I now agree that she will have no contact with our child in the future. I am beyond done with her, and I just hope this is all over. That's the end of the effing story, y'all. That's that's the end. That, there's no resolution. There's no there's no they found everything. There's no like I that, that's that's it. It's just she. I'm flabbergasted. Okay. Obviously, she's got some issues, right? Obviously, she's got she's got some attachment issues with her bay boy moving on with his life to the point where she's acting out horribly now to the point where she's actually taking things away from your baby. The spotlight can't be on you all the time, Ma. It can't. It may be like a searchlight from a police helicopter, but not the spotlight. It can't be you all the time. It's not going to be you. And guess what? Pain creates change. You've caused enough to get yourself excommunicado from your bouncing bay too far. I thought the cake was too far, but this is way too damn far. 
And someone who's capable of doing something as shitty as this does not get to be around your child. Thank you, OP, for drawing that line. It concerns me that it was so casually drawn at the, here at the very end. And you said uh, both both hubby and I agree that she will have no contact with her child in the future. Okay. What I wanted to hear was we're moving. We've taken out a protection order. Uh, we're not giving her the new address. There's no way that she can hunt us down. We have filed a police report. Like This, this needs to be taken 10 steps further because she's going to keep acting out more and more and more and more and more severely to what end? I don't know. I don't know what she thinks is going to happen here. Like her son is just going to be like, enough. Okay, mom, I'm going to come move back in with you. I'm going to leave my wife and child behind. You get me back. What is she expecting to happen? She just wants the focus to be on her, even if it's negative attention. Mom needs some therapy, like maybe 72 hour hold. I tell you what, when the police go interview her, she's probably going to come clean about where she actually dropped that stuff. And the fact that there were sentimental heirloom things in there that are irreplaceable holds some weight to it. I think it, I think there's got to be a report filed. Like, there's too much stuff in there that's irreplaceable and valuable that you at least have to have a, a, an insurance claim on. And maybe homeowners insurance would cover that. I don't know. But they would need a police report to be filed in order to have any kind of claim. I don't think there's any way around filing a claim here. You've got the security footage. You have proof. She's going to get arrested. She needs to be arrested. She needs to experience enough pain to create change in her life. And you're going to have to be as severe as possible to make that happen. She mistreated a cake as well. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. She went straight to ask on one right then. And then she went back. She's on my shit list. She's like, I'm taking that secret to my grave. I ain't telling you where I stashed them gifts. I know there was a grandma knitted sweater in there. You ain't never getting that. I burned it. I was thinking she probably just said she dumped it in a donation bin to get some kind of reaction. But when the police show up, she'll probably come clean if she doesn't want to spend time in jail. Well, she should spend anyway. 